Hello everyone. Let's provide a solution to this problem completely. We have x root x squared equals to 8. Okay, so the first thing we will do is this. This is x squared multiplied by square root of x squared. Because this square is for both x and square root of x. All of this equal to 8. Now we are going to have x squared multiplied by this. We'll cancel this. And we have x which will be equal to 8. The next thing is to multiply this. Remember this is the power of 1. So if I pick one of the bases, I will add the powers to get 3. And this will be equal to 8. But what does the question say? That we should solve it completely. Right? Now, bring everything to the left. So we have x to the power of 3 minus 8 equal to 0. And this means that we have x to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 to be equal to 0. And now from here, let's apply this standard that if you have um, a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, this is the same thing as a squared. Okay, this is the same thing as a minus b into a squared plus ab plus b squared. Okay, so I'm going to apply this standard now so that in place of um, a minus b, I'll have x minus 2, right? x minus 2. Then in this, I'm going to have, um, in place of a squared, I have x squared plus ab becomes 2 times x, that is 2x. Then plus b squared, that will be 2 squared. And this is equal to 0. Now we have x minus 2 into brackets x squared plus 2x plus 4 equals 0. Close this. And now we apply 0 product rule. Remember, this is um, to 3, you know, to the power of 3, right? Meaning that you should have at least 3 solutions. Because you should have 3 solutions because it is to the power of 3. Now, from here, we're going to have two so um, one solution. From here, we're going to have two solutions. Now, let's pick this. x minus 2 is equal to 0 because I'm applying 0 product rule. So, x is equal to 0 plus 2 and then x is equal to 2. So, this is the first solution to this problem. Now, to get the other two solutions, we will pick the quadratic equation there. x squared plus 2x plus 4 equals 0. And according to this quadratic equation, a is 1, b is 2, and c is um, 4. Now, some persons may be asking, how did I get a, b, and c? We are going to use quadratic formula for this. And in the quadratic formula, we have a, b, c. And a is a coefficient of x squared. b is a coefficient of x, which is 2. And c is a constant that we have over here. Now, let's go straight to the quadratic formula. This is the quadratic formula. And in here, we have a, b, c. Now, let's put in the value of a, b, c that we got from the quadratic equation. So x will now be minus b, which will now be minus 2, positive or negative. Then b squared there becomes 2 squared minus 4 here, multiplied by a is, is 1, multiplied by 4, um, c, which is 4. And the whole of this will be over 2 multiplied by 1, isn't it? Okay. So this means that x is equal to minus 2, positive or negative, square root of 4 minus 16. Okay, because we're having one, um, 4 times 1 times 4, and this will be over 2. And if we continue with this, then x will be equal to minus 2, plus or minus, 
square root of negative 12 because 4 minus 16 is negative 12 and this is over 2 yes this is over 2 now let's continue our x will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 12 multiplied by square root of negative 1 now i did this because i needed to bring out this negative from 12 right all of this will be over 2 okay now let's proceed x will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 times 3 multiplied by square root of negative 1 this way i'll be able to reduce square root of 12 to a simpler term okay here we have 2 now our x will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 is 2 then attach your root 2 multiply by square root of negative 1 is imaginary so we're going to have imaginary i and then this will be over 2 right okay now remember that this is the same thing as x equal to minus 2 over 2 plus or minus <coughs> 2 root 3 i over 2 now note that this i here is not under the square root sign okay so x will be equal to this if you divide this you're going to have minus 1 plus or minus now this will go there and we have um, root 3 i we have root 3 i so from here now we have two solutions two in one because this is the same thing as x equal to minus 1 plus square root of 3 i or minus 1 minus square root of 3 i now i want to bring the three solutions together very quickly the first solution is x equal to 2 and this is the only real solution right then the second solution is x2 let's call this x1 x2 which is equal to what we have here minus 1 plus square root of 3 i and then our x3 is minus 1 minus square root of 3 i so this is the real solution to the problem well x1 and x x2 and x3 are not real solution because of this imaginary number so these are the three solutions if you're to find everything complete thank you for so um for watching